What's going on fellas? I've got a 2006 Ford Explorer here. I'm gonna use this truck to show you how to change your brake light switch. I'm also gonna point out to you the location of two important fuses for the operation of the brake lights. Um, and I'm also gonna discuss a unique problem that can occur with these that will cause only the third brake light to come on. So to start with, we're gonna check out the fuses. Both fuses for us to check are gonna be behind this cover here, which we remove by pushing on that tab down. They're both 15 amp fuses. The first one we're gonna check is important for all the brake lights in their entirety to work. That's gonna be this 15 amp right here. This provides power directly to your brake light switch. Now there's another 15 amp fuse located right here. If this fuse is blown, your brake lights may still work, but only your high mount, your third brake light. Um, it will, it could cause your other brake lights to not come on at all. This provides power not to the brake light switch, but to your smart junction box, which is this entire assembly right here. It's basically what Ford calls a body control module. Now moving on to the brake light switch, as I've mentioned, it receives power from that 15 amp fuse back there. That power comes through on a uh, brown wire. So looking up, we see your brake light switch right here. There's the connector. It's a two pin connector and it can be tough to disconnect because right behind it is another wiring harness. But uh, to disconnect it, you basically push on this tab right here while you push the connector back. You can see I've got it unlocked right now. There we go. So that power comes in through on that, that brown red wire. And when you hit the brakes, this lever moves and it allows the plunger to come out of the back of the uh, brake light switch, the stoplight switch. And when that plunger comes out, the switch connects those two pins together. So you can actually test this circuit with just a paper clip before you start replacing parts. Disconnect this, put a paper clip, connect these two pins together and your brake light should come on if all the bulbs are in good shape and all the fuses are good. Now with this disconnected, if, if you're gonna go ahead and change it, you actually rotate it, not counterclockwise, which is what you'd think, you rotate it clockwise and it will pop out. You can see how it's retained. There's that little weird shape thing. And when you have the new one in, the new one just installs pretty much opposite of removal you, uh, you've got to index it in there and then you rotate it counterclockwise to lock it. And don't forget to plug it back in. Now I do, I do want to mention as well, it's rare, but I have seen this occur where there can be a malfunction of the uh, smart junction box where it sends voltage to the third brake light but it won't send any voltage to um, the brake lights on either side. So you wanna check all these things first before you start getting down that rabbit hole. But I just thought I'd mention it here. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. Please let me know if you've got any questions or more importantly, if you've got any advice about troubleshooting the brake lights on your Ford Explorer.